I'm a general urologist uh, practicing at One Ashford Hospital. Um, I've been in practice for 43 years, uh, mostly in the NHS, and I now see patients from this area and urinary tract infections are a very significant part of uh, the cause for referral. It's the commonest bacterial infection in women by some margin. 10% um, of women have uh, on average one infection in the course of a calendar year and at least 50% will have one infection during their lifetime. Uh, it tends to be commonest between the ages of 16 and 35. Well, it's certainly the case that um, sexually active women are uh, prone to them. Um, and the reason for that is that the uh, urethra or the water passage leading from the bladder to the outside is much shorter in women and therefore bacteria can ascend into the bladder much more easily. So whilst it's something that may happen from time to time, it is not something that should happen repeatedly. And uh, the generally accepted view among urologists is that if a woman were to have a proven infection, in other words, one cultured in a laboratory in th three consecutive years or three infections in the course of one year, then they should be referred for investigation to make sure there isn't an underlying cause. Well, the um, best way of doing so uh, is that after sexual intercourse, a woman should empty her bladder within about five minutes because bacteria are most likely to get into the bladder as a result of um, sexual intercourse. That reduces the chance significantly. Um, sexual intercourse causes approximately 75 to 80 percent of cases of cystitis, which means bacterial infection in the bladder. It is possible that uh, you can get a more serious infection due to what we call ascending infection where bacteria travel up the tubes, uh, the ureters, which lead to the kidneys. And obviously if the kidneys are infected, this is potentially a serious situation which may require uh, possible hospitalisation and intravenous drugs. Well, repeat infections are not normal. As I previously indicated, uh, there's a, a lower level of what we consider to be repeat infections that should be referred for investigation. The point is that there is no point in uh, treating the results of a problem rather than the cause. And if there is an underlying reason why infections are recurrent, then that must be addressed because otherwise they will just keep on happening. The commonest problem um, in women with recurrent urinary tract infections is uh, because the water passage or the urethra becomes narrowed for essentially three um, different reasons. The earliest stage is where um, due to hormonal changes in late adolescence or early adulthood, uh, a narrowing occurs as a result of changes in the tissues around the opening. Secondly, after childbirth, minor birth canal trauma can cause um, a narrowing as well due to the minor injury. And finally, in perimenopausal or postmenopausal women, uh, reverse hormonal changes can cause a narrowing. In these situations, patients are unable to completely empty their bladder and the residual urine that is left uh, behind becomes chronically and recurrently infected by simply under a short anaesthetic as a day case uh, stretching the water passage this allows proper voiding of the bladder and therefore makes a re reinfection very much less likely. Um, on a more serious surgical note um, for psychourotheric reflux in children that does not resolve spontaneously may require surgery, although this is normally performed by paediatric urologists in a children's hospital. The simplest end of the scale 
uh, injecting a bulking agent uh, through a telescope uh, around the opening of the ureter can prevent reflux, but in more serious cases where the ureter is much more enlarged or mega ureter, um, a more extensive operation through the lower abdomen called reimplantation may be required. It's important to investigate the cause of recurrent infections because in some cases uh, abnormalities of the uh, kidneys uh, may be the cause of the problem. Some people uh, from birth have a very inadequately um, developed kidney which functions very poorly and as a result uh, urine um, becomes static within it and it can become a cause of recurrent infection which can be difficult to treat. There is also the risk that this may be uh, develop into an abscess called a pyonephrosis which is a very serious condition. In cases like that, um, removal of the kidney uh, by keyhole surgery is necessary. And this may sometimes have to be done in quite young patients. Um, there's also a condition uh, called pelvi junction obstruction, which is due to inadequate nerve endings in the muscle fibers at the junction between the kidney and the upper ureter. And this can cause uh, retention of urine within the kidney and back pressure effects and possible recurrent infection. Uh, there's an operation that again is nearly always done by keyhole surgery now to overcome this where the affected section is removed and the ends join together. And this is called an anderson hines pyloplasty and it is very successful. In summary, I would say that women who suffer from repeated infections should seek referral for investigation, as this can often be resolved permanently. It's worth mentioning that if there isn't an underlying cause, but that does need to be established by fairly simple tests, which generally involve an ultrasound scan and possibly um, looking into the bladder under local anaesthetic, um, which is performed at this hospital in outpatients and is a very brief procedure. There are two categories of women where there isn't an underlying problem. Those that, who are more simply predisposed to infections whereby the urethra does not adequately prevent uh, bacteria causing recurrent infection and those in whom it is simply bad luck where changing their practices as I mentioned earlier resolves the problem. In some cases where damage to the lining of the bladder has occurred due to repeated infections, a bladder installation performed as an outpatient can allow this to heal and the problem to resolve subsequently. Uh, these procedures uh, are all available at One Ashford Hospital and I would encourage women who are suffering from repeat infections to seek referral for a urological opinion. <laughs>